Good night, mate. Well, yeah. How's it going? How's it going? I was just on the sideline hanging out. We got uh, my buddy Riley in town today. He's uh. Tell him what you do. You got bloopers and stuff. I'm a tattoo artist by trade, but I keep uh, keep big bloopers like Dry Marcon, as well as Matthias uh, Carnata. Specifically, the West Java, Indonesia locality, which are jet black and like Eastern Indigos, Cribos, Black Tails, Yellow Tails. Something gets pretty big. My uh, big man, Matthias, is probably a little bit over 11 foot long. Between and Caden right now. I'm trying to get my Eastern out. He's real mean. He's not very good with the hook. He's very uh, on the move. But just try to go real slow with him. Hopefully he'll chill out to the point where I can tail him. He's still uh, This is my male Eastern Diamondback. Had him since he popped out. He's from Tom Crutchfield. He's a little on the bitey side. He's not being that bad right now. Good look to snake. He's pretty awesome. Now eventually I'm gonna breed this male. I got a big, I got a big normal female Eastern down below. Feed them together soon. What's on the side? Is that just like dirt on the side of him? You see that on the side, on the bottom, how those bottom skills? On the neck? Yeah, those aren't lights, right? Those are... Lift it up higher? Just dirt, right? I can't see. Ah! I'm like on my face. Yeah, it's just dirt, just making sure it's not lights. Well, you use Eco Earth, right? Yeah. It's probably getting the scales. Yeah. Cool, so that's that. Normally he's being... And then what's gonna happen next? Is Roy is gonna put this thing back in its enclosure when it's done being serviced? Because today he's being trained by the best, Tyler Nolan. He's been doing this for 34 four years. Oh my god. He is 48 years old. Not that old. I've been in the mountains of Thailand for a very long time. Now I, I haven't been on the internet. Now I gotta put the thing in. Why you don't think you can handle it? I, I mean, think you can I handle do. it. I do, I would just rather not because he's such a fast and crazy striking snake. I've already had that like, guy Mike got bit by that. He got bit by that six foot Eastern that I had. So the last oh, thing I want is for my buddy to come visit me in Florida and then get tagged by one of my rattlesnakes. Welcome to Florida. Imagine us, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> and I'd rather try to keep him safe. Yeah. Got, a three, got a three year old daughter to go. Yeah, you could warm me up with the uh, uh, water cobra. It's not going to die if I get bit by it's him. It's a psychopath. It would be like a beast thing. And maybe give me a tummy ache. Ah! The roof. <laughs> oh, I got bit by a hydrogenasis gig at the my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a feature where a guy like swung yeah. up and he looked like Popeye. Bro, Tom Crossfield told me his name. Oh my god. Tom Grudgefield, oh, this guy, Neil Tom, um, he had his son was letting his false water cobra bite his penis. Yeah, and like swall like he was at, he was pretty much he was jerking off of this snake, man. This letting he was getting off by letting the snake bite his penis. That blow job is all teeth. Dude, true Ladies, story. Don't do that. Crazy. Yeah, don't, People are crazy. Don't, don't jerk off of your Don't jerk snake. off of your snake, man. Oh, you like it? Let's go send it back in there so we can get to the good stuff. We're just trying to clean some cages. Oh, oh, oh. I got a new snake today. It's a surprise. We're going to show you in a, in a minute, y'all. Trying to get this this uh, rattle snake back in its place. So it doesn't really lost me. Just 
just make them look weird. I'm just going to try to put them back in there with the hook. Like that, not sure. Now, I'm going to level them up. They feel nice and comfortable. See how he's not being crazy right now? He's being super mellow. Show me the snake is crazy. Right now, he's chilling. Right at the cage, like so. Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. The glass with that. Oh, Oops, a meatball. Look like that. Is that a javelina? Yeah, Mike. Shrimp. Oh, oh, like this. I go like this, I give him to him. How's it going, Mike? You. Oh, don't worry. Don't use one. Don't worry. There you go. Okay, take the big one. This one, watch. She. It's not that bad. You can hold her like this. Just, just one more to bite me. Yeah, just like the girl. Like yeah. yeah. Super cool. He it's looks only awesome. a best <laughs> reptile. Yeah. Super cool. Here, let's get it. Pretty, 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 pretty lizard. It's venomous, but I love it. She's like a sweetheart. You could just hold her, just give her full support. Very much. Oh, it's super long. It's not huge, but long. So she said, it looks like 10 feet. <laughs> it's like 8 feet or 7 feet. Boom! Oh, God, I keep saying stupid shit in front of the camera. Are we about to witness something? Oh, no! Yeah, it's pretty funny it's to me. Funny to you. What, you want me to bite me or something? <laughs> it's 
It's a good snake. It's a rear fang snake, mild venom. Hopefully it's not gonna bit in the face here. Um, find them in Asia. Obviously they live in mangrove areas. And it's mangrove snake. <laughs> Are you okay? Bro? Look at the camera. Talk Why to is this so funny? Apparently this is also a pretty funny <gasps> snake. It's hilarious. Man, I can't stop laughing. Well, because I, I got a chance to actually find one of these guys. He still doesn't care. Are we friends? <gasps> I have to wake up. Are you okay? Well, how about them apples? <laughs> this species of colubrid is a lot of uh, snakes in the Boega genus will have a cat eye. So that's why they're called cat snakes a lot of yeah. times. Because most colubrids yeah. have round pupils. They really avoid biting, but the green cat snakes, dude, they gnaw on you. They are relentless. <sighs> yeah, they have to chew their venom in because of the rear fang. It's, a, it's, like, a, it's like a grooved fang. Super cool snake. Look at that guy. Whoa. Show you how we're gonna set this guy up though. For now. I'm trying to get some sphagnum moss for him, but they were out. So I gotta get that stack. Come on, you gonna try to like don't bite my arm, man. So this is how I got his little cage set up. Got a little water bowl in there, got some hide for him, some branches. Gotta put some sphagnum moss in there too. And that's that pretty simple. They get like eight feet. Six, eight feet, easy. Oh, you yeah, guys? First yeah. clanny caught one that was like eight foot. It was the biggest one I've ever seen. Yeah, huge. By a river. Imagine when that's an eight foot snake, bro. Dude, I found a, like a four footer. Yeah. Oh, the heel is uh, sexually dimorphic. Mm. Oh. You have to, uh, to, to sex a heel actually, you have to ultrasound. Oh, you shit. have to use an ultrasound. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. One of them things. That's the thing is most things are pretty predictable with their body language. Go to your new home. You wanna live up the nail. Time is gonna take what you can. You wanna stop read your message. So Secure! We're gonna do a little something here. What I'm gonna do is my buddy Riley, he's got plenty of snake experience. Um Came down here and wants to work with some stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Giving them the rundown of everything so far. So what I'm gonna do is the spectacle that I have, I'm gonna show you proper technique to take venomous snake out of the cage, put him in the tub, proper putting the cap on the whole night. And then you are gonna be doing my Egyptian bandit, 14 year old Egyptian bandit who has a little bit of a speedy response in the cage. He's a little bit of a jerk, which it'll be good. Yeah. But once you get him out, he's puppy dog. <gasps> All right. So that's where we're ended. Let's start with this, uh, this special. Lock on the cage, take the lock off. <coughs> got, got Chandler supervising. I ain't nothing. One thing I always tell people when you're doing venomous, always make sure you have a partner with you. Yes. Even if it's just me surfacing on my snakes, <laughs> Like if I'm doing something, I at least make sure like my girlfriend does. Right. Because if something happens to me, if I get bit by a snake, she can me in hospital. Exactly. You know what I mean? Always make sure you have somebody. Gotta have a teammate. Never, never do this alone. That's rule number one. This is rule number two. Don't open up a cage with your bare hands. You might see me do it in videos all the time. Do as I say, not as I do. You'll see people do it. I'm very experienced. I know how, where my snakes are. You know what I mean? If I do it, it's one thing. I'm teaching people how to do it. Use a snake coat to open up your cage. Don't use your hands, even though I do it all the time. Okay? So, sticky end. I like to open up left to here. Okay. Because if you open up this side of the glass, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be able to close it fast enough. If right. you open up, if you open up the glass like this, open up the glass like this, right. You have this edge right here that yep. you can quickly Much grab easier. way easier to close, okay? So, we'll open it up with the hook. 
Oops, right there. So now heat with that. Get rid of this hide box. Flip that hide box up. And just like, just it's just like dealing with your Kribos or yeah. any of your other snakes, just like that. When you're gonna hook him, you want his head far away. Right, of course. Bring his midsection out, tail out, grab him, cloaca area, you know what I mean? How do I want to position my fingers? The same as you would with your snakes. There's, there's no different. For sure. Um, your snakes have a, a little spike at the end of their tail that they kind of poke you with. Oh, a little bit, yeah. A lot of cobras, they have this, this really hard scale on the end of their tail, and they use it almost like the scary. I know like the forest cobras um, in Africa do that. Yeah, yeah. But check him. Get him out. He's being yep. super chill right now. Mm -hmm. Keep getting him out. Now he's got his attention on me. Keep, keep going. Now he's gonna hopefully go this way a little bit. Make him move a little more. Now I got his tail and he's coming out, okay? Tail, Oika. Just like, it's just like you're taking out any of your other snakes, okay? Mm -hmm. Just like that. I got sandals on, of course. Of course, I'm doing an instructional video on venomous snake handling and on sandals, which is also no, no. I got shoes on. But that's all right. Ooh, good looking snake. Good looking snake. Yeah, just like that. Just make sure it stays in the bucket, stays down, trying to hand me the top of that. Okay. Just like that. I always like to put the bottom on first. Just to get it in happens. It's stupid. It's oh quite the predicament. The, the first time I ever handled this thing, I couldn't believe the shit I was doing. He's huffing. What's going on? Did you hear that growl? He wants to bite everything with it. Super cantankerous. Look at that. Look at that hood. Whoa, danger. Are you warming the enclosure? Yeah. Easy going. That's how you get up, skater. Skater? That's how you do it. That glass is really clean. Rad. Good, bro. I remember what I said. He's kind of crazy in his cage, but once you get him, get him by that loop right there. <laughs> All right. Get him by that loop. Get his tail. There you go. Him now. Once you get him out, he's like puppy dog. Once you get him out, just put him right here, right in the middle of the room, hold by the tail. Oh, there you go. Okay. Handle that situation. Just make sure you stay ah! there. That's it. So what's that like? Bro, that was insane. Like lifetime it's like crazy, goal. right? Yeah. Like first time handling Ooh. a big cobra. Yeah, you're like <laughs> Yeah. It's the real deal. Like a Kribo. But can kill you. <laughs> can kill you. Yeah. But that's the perfect way to explain how to handle it. Once in a lifetime type of experience for me. But that's what I was saying before. It's just like handling the snakes. Like it really that. was. It's very similar to yeah. a Kribo or a Big Indigo or something like that. The way that they move, the way that it they was. climb. It's, that's, it's like Same it's exact similar. behavior. Right. Same exact behavior. <laughs> so this time, mm -hmm. what I want you to do, and this turn out safe opening. So we don't know where the snake is at. Obviously, this is not a see-through garbage can or anything. Right, you know right. what I mean? So the safest way to open up a garbage can like this is away from you. So you're right. gonna open up away from you, look in, okay? Right. So make there sure he's at the bottom, blah, blah, blah. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna 
Come in here, open, make sure it's safe, get rid of the lid, put the animal back in the enclosure. Great. Sounds good. See how this snake does for you. It's normally pretty good. She's right here, okay? Yep. So, same thing. Yep. Like I said before, you see how I just had this snake? When I had him out, I just had this whole, Try whole to keep thing. Him as level it as was as level. As yeah. as level. So he doesn't feel yeah, it's too it's hot. Yeah, because like, it's probably yeah. like more right here. Yep. Yeah. Just keep him nice and level. Boom. Can. Lid. That's it. Key. These are already unlocked, so all you gotta do is turn the key. This is gonna come down. Snake is right here. So I would try to get her out so you can see the whole, the whole body. Oh. I'm gonna to make this a little easier for you. Yeah. So This little death row boy. Let's show the people real fast too. Take her out and just put her on top of this trash can real quick before you put her in the cage. Perfect. You. Nice. Good looking snake. Right. See if you can get a close up of her. See this hood? Look at that. Look at that orange hood right there. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous, right? It's a sunset albino. Beautiful stick. One of my favorite cobras. I've had her since she was a baby. Fresh out the egg. Perfect. Hell yeah, we're out of here. Natural. A natural. <laughs> Sick, dude. You're, you're ready for venomous. <laughs> gotta keep, gotta keep getting those hours, and you're good. Right. Sick. What? What if I lived closer to Florida? <laughs> yeah, for real. Well, that's oh, pretty yeah. much that. Um, that's hope, awesome. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna tag Riley's Instagram mm -hmm. at the bottom. Go follow him. He's a badass tattooer. He did a lot of snake tattoos. Um, where's your shop again? I'm currently at Neon Dragon, which is in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. But at the end of June, I'm moving to the Ink Lab which is in Uptown of Minneapolis. It'll all be on his Instagram. Yep. You can go check him out. Whoever lives up there, go get some badass tattoos from this guy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn those notifications on so you know when I drop those videos. Hit the bell. Hit that little bell. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.